Welcome to the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator course. In this particular module, we are going to be adding the security gateway to the security management server. The goal for this addition is to ensure that the security management server can manage the gateway. If you remember, we said that we would have to create policies on smart console and then would we'll save the policies on the security management server and that the security management server is going to install the policies on the security gateway. So for this to be possible, it means that trust must be established between the security management server and the security gateway which would bring us to the idea of secure internal communication. So let's log into the Smart Console. If you want to log into Smart Console, you would have to input your administrator's credential. You would have to input your password. And then you would input the IP address of your security management server. The IP address of our security management server is 192.168.15.3 so we'll click on login and then after we've logged in we're going to be adding the security gateway to the security management server now in some cases you might have difficulty logging into your smart console well it might tell you unable to connect to the server or whatsoever so the very first thing that you would want to do if you have any issue logging into smart console would be to come to the cliche or the cli of your security management server and then you type in the command api status so what this command does is to let you know whether the server is up and running whether all the processes like the CPM, like the FWM, you'll learn about them later on. So this would help you check whether the CPM and the FWM processes are running. If this is not running, if the server is not up and ready, then you can type in the command API stats. So when you type in API stats, it would bring up all the processes and then you'll be able to log into Smart Console. Okay, so let's go back to Smart Console. So having logged into Smart Console, we want to add the security gateway to the security management server. Okay, so if you check, this is the icon of the security management server. You can see the name CPSMS. So let's add our security gateway. So do this, all we need to do is click on these three dots up here. So we'll click on this, we'll scroll down to where we have new, and then we'll click on gateway. Now we can select the wizard mode to make the installation easier. So we'll click on wizard mode. Now it is asking us for the name of our security gateway. Our security gateway, um, let's check the topology. Our security gateway is named CP Gateway 1. So we're going to come back to Smart Console and then we're going to click on CP Gateway 1. Now for the gateway platform, it's um, we're going to select Open Server. We're selecting Open Server because, like we earlier explained, for the deployment platform, you can choose to make use of your checkpoint appliance or you could choose to make use of an open server, which is like a virtual machine. So I use an open server and then we're going to impute the IP address of the security gateway, the management IP address, which is actually 192.168.15.1. Having selected this, we'll click on next. Okay, it is asking us for a one-time password. Now, this one-time password is actually used to initialize secure internal communication between the security management server and the security gateway. Now, if you recall, when we were creating the 
security management server, it asks us to input an activation key. Now, that activation key that you imputed when you were installing your security management server is the same activation key that you're going to be imputing right now. Okay, I think when you were bringing up the security gateway, it asked you for an activation key. So that activation key is where you're going to put right now. Okay, so we'll put the activation key and then we'll click on next. Now, if you've forgotten your one-time password, there is no cause for alarm. All you need to do is come to your security gateway. Okay, so when you come to your security gateway, you would have to log in. Then, okay, so let's log into the security gateway. So we're going to type in the command cpconfig. This means checkpoint configuration. So we'll type in the command cpconfig. And then we're going to select the number 5 for secure internal communication. So when we select number 5 for secure internal communication, it would ask us if we would like to reinitialize trust or to reinitialize the secure internal communication. If you click on yes, it is going to reset that one time password or the activation key or the secure internal communication and everything. Then it will ask you to impute a new one time password. If that is what you want to do, click on yes and you would observe that you're going to be asked to impute a one time password. So you follow the prompts. So this is how you reset your one time password. Or this is how you reset your sick that is your secure internal communication. Okay, so having done this, we'll click on close. We'll click on finish. And then, okay, let's wait for this to get completed. Okay, so now that it has been completed, it is going to give you this pop-up. What you will do next will be to click on network management. Okay, so when you click on network management, that is the first thing that you need to do. If you click on network management, you click on get interfaces with topology. Now, when you click on get interfaces with topology, you click on accept. So we're going to click on each of the interfaces. Okay, so we're going to click on modify. We're going to specify the security zone as internal. Um, the reason why we selected security zones to be internal is because if you check this interface, interface Ethernet 0, which or whose IP address is 192.168.15.1, if you check, this belongs to the internal network. It belongs to the LAN, belongs to the local area network. Okay, so we're going to be specifying that here which is why we selected the internal zone. We'll click on OK. We'll click on OK. Now observe something. 192.168.20.0 or the Ethernet 1 interface belongs to the external zone. Okay, this is our internal network. This is our external network. Okay, so when we come back to this place, we're going to click on this. Let's just ensure. Okay, so we're going to change the security zone to external zone. We'll click on OK. Now, this interface is for synchronization. If you check, this is the synchronization interface. So we can leave it as internal. So, okay, we can leave it as it says. We'll click on OK. And then we'll click on OK. So having done this, there are two steps that we could take. One step could be to install policy. Another step could be to install database. Now I'm going to explain the difference between install database and install policy. Now, if you make changes to your security management server, that is if you make non-policy related changes like if you make normal changes on Smart Console, you have to click on Install Database. 
But if you make changes to your policy, then you click on install policy. So that's the difference. If you install policy, it is going to install database and also install the policy. So it's a longer process, but it is fine. But if you want to save time and you're sure that you did not edit any security policy down here, then it's fine. You can just install database and everything is going to be fine. Okay, so since we did not make changes to our security policy, we're going to be installing database. So let's click on install database. We'll click on install. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to publish and install, which is fine. Okay, so we're going to be waiting for this to come up. If everything goes well, this should change to green color. Okay, so as you can see, it says installing the database would have to wait for this to get completed. As you can see, database installed successfully. So what this means is that the security management server can now manage the security gateway. Okay, so it is as easy as that. Okay, usually this would take up to like a minute. As you can see, it says green now, meaning that everything is fine. So this is how you onboard your security gateway. So with this, we've come to the end of this particular module. I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you.